Hey everyone, so in the last uh, tutorial we have uh, provisioned our VPC. So that was the baseline that we are going using from now on to create other resources and to explore other services in AWS. Uh, So here it has two uh, public subnet and two private subnets. Okay, and one internet gateway and another uh, net uh, gateway. In this tutorial, we are uh, going to create uh, RDS uh, instance a database that we can connect it through the internet so we'll head through the rds console here and we'll click on create database and we'll uh, create a database of postgres sql so we'll stick to the default version that is recommended by AWS here. Uh, since we are not aiming for production, so we will select a test template. And we are looking for a single DB instance here. So uh, we are not um, targeting uh, high availability. We'll call the database as identifier back back in. So it's the identifier of the database itself. And we'll leave the master username and yeah so because we already have this database done so we want the back in demo here and in the master, so you can type your username. Sorry, you can type your password here. Okay, and for the instance configuration, we will select um, class T uh, because we are not it's just demo, so we're not looking for something. Um, high intense here and we will select as well the ssd 20 just small configuration we are looking for we can select our vpc and we say okay so subnet group database subnet group we created already two subnet group um through the cloud formation templates that we have and because we need to connect to this rds instance through uh, the internet so we will make the access public and we will select the security group that we have created as well, which is public security group. So this is a combination of um, the public access and security group uh, itself. If you are not selecting one of them, uh, you want to be able to access this instance through the internet. So here additional configuration is just the port. We we'll leave it as is password authentication. We might not need this. Um, some additional configuration here, like monitoring. We'll keep it no harm. Okay, and here the additional configuration. Uh, we call the database itself as maybe Drupal 
and to speed things up of provisioning, we'll just uncheck the backup for now, keep the encrypted. And yeah, we can now click the create database. It will take a few minutes to be created. Once it's been created, we will see the endpoint here and port already populated on this page. So while this is being creating, let's have a look at the security group that I was mentioning. So we have here security groups already that created. Also we have the public security group. So the public security group is allowing any um, IP address to connect to the database through this, of course, using the username and, and the password. And we allow any port range for the outcoming traffic from the resource itself, which is the RDS itself at that, uh, at that time. Okay, great. So the database has been already created and we have now the endpoint. So we will use a client here um, tool, which is called BG Admin. You can, you can download it for free. Uh, so in this, we will create a server. We we'll name the server as demo, for example. And here we add the endpoint uh, and we leave the username and here's the password that we have added and we create save and we'll see. Okay, so yeah, we connected successfully here and we have um, the database that we have created. So yeah, that concludes our uh, tutorial of how to create a database uh, RDS on uh, Postgres and how to connect to it. Thank you.